Now, one of President Moon Jae-in's key campaign pledges was retaking wartime operational control from the United States within his term. But experts say that given the complexity of the task, it may require years of coordination and discussions. Our man at the Defence Ministry, Kim Hyun bin has more. There has been a last-minute change to one of President Moon Jae-in's key policy pledges. As a candidate, Moon pledged to achieve the transfer of wartime operational control from Washington to Seoul during his five-year term as president. However, in his government policy goals announced on Wednesday, Moon altered his previous stance from within his term to as soon as possible. According to a Blue House official, Seoul and Washington are in close coordination to swiftly transfer OPCON back to Seoul and added that the transfer could occur within or after the current administration. Local experts, on the other hand, say that the revision was made because Moon's initial pledge was deemed difficult to fulfill. At the beginning, he pledged to complete the transfer of OPCON during his term, but it's near impossible as there are numerous projects that need to be implemented for the transfer to take place. Experts also said South Korea needs to improve its counter abilities against North Korea's ever-growing nuclear and missile threats. South Korea needs to implement military satellites, its kill chain system, KAMD, and many other issues to be able to counter North Korea's nuclear and missile threats on its own. South Korea aims to implement its kill chain and Korea air and missile defense systems, as well as the Korea massive punishment and retaliation strategy by the early 2020s. Seoul and Washington first agreed to the transfer of wartime operation control in October of 2009, but it has been postponed twice to the mid-2020s. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.